Welcome to this edition of All Things Green. My name's Josh here at the Sun Prairie location. Today we're gonna talk to you about uh, some fruit tree care because I feel like a lot of customers when they come in to purchase their fruit trees, they don't really know the entire process or how to take care of it the proper way to make sure that you don't get any fungicides or uh, insecticidal issues. So I've got a range of products here that we carry from Bonide. Uh, the first one I wanna start with is our uh, All Seasons Horticulture and Dormant Spray. So this is a good spray that you're gonna wanna use in early spring before your tree buds out. Uh, this is gonna take care of any wintered over eggs from scale or spider mites, mealy bugs, because they can potentially winter over on your branches. So that's why you wanna do this one before the product, sorry, before the tree actually starts to leaf out. We do have this in a concentrated version and also a hose end, depending on the size of your tree. The next step after this, you're gonna to wanna to bump up to a fruit tree spray or what we also have now is called fruit tree guard. This is a newer product uh, last year to the market. Uh, it's just a replacement for the fruit tree spray. This one here is gonna take care of ornamental trees as well as fruit trees. So it's not just a one-step product. You can use this for multiple items. Uh, this is a concentrated version only. We do not have a hose end for the fruit tree spray. This application is required to be done seven times per year. So you wanna start right after it starts to leaf out. So you'll do your dormant spray first before it leafs. Then you'll come back with your fruit tree spray for your first spring treatment is what I like to call it. And then once you come back after your petal drop, which is the tree blooms out into all the flowers, and then once all the petals drop, then you'll come back and do another application of your fruit tree spray. And then you'll just continue to do a few more sprays until you get to your seventh spray. But you really do need to make sure that you do your seventh spray 21 days before harvest, because this is a non-organic product. So you wanna make sure that it doesn't leach into anything that you are eating. The fruit and tree guard is the next step, is the better product of the fruit and tree spray that Bonine carries. This is only need to be applied four times per year. So once again, you'll still use your dormant spray first, and then you'll come in and do your fruit and tree guard right after it starts to leaf out. And then you'll do your second application after petal drop. Then you can wait a little bit longer of a period, do one like in midsummer and then make sure that you do your last one once again 21 days before harvest so then that way uh, you don't have any issues with it leaching into the fruit. The fruit and tree guard is available in concentrate and also a hose end formula. An option to use that is organic is gonna be our orchard spray. This one here you're gonna have to apply more than just the average seven times because this could potentially wash off with rain. So you, if it does rain, you wanna make sure you do it within seven to 10 days after rain. Um, and I would recommend probably at least seven to 10 applications of the organic product. Um, this is also in a concentrated version or a hose end. Um, if you are someone who does like the concentrated version more than the hose end, we do have a sprayer here that you can actually put the product into and then turn the dial on the top and you can turn, it, turn any concentrate into a hose end. Otherwise, you can also take off the top and you can screw it right onto the top of the bottle. This fits all Bonide bottles and you can just once again turn the dial to what you want. We do have a couple of other sprayers that you could also use for pump sprayers, which is pretty common with your concentrates. We've got the pump and spray here from Bonide. This one is a 1.33 gallon. And then we've also got the commercial style backpack sprayers up here, which this one is more of a seven gallon sprayer. We use this one around the store just to take care of our landscaping and stuff like that. So it's a little bigger model than you really need for your everyday at home. But I just wanted to share that we do have this option available. A couple other issues that you can possibly see right now on your fruit trees, ornamental trees, is cedar apple rust. The cedar apple rust forms lesions on the leaves that are rust in color, and they are just more of a cosmetic issue 
It's not necessarily a disease, but it can potentially hurt the harvest or hurt the tree itself. You can treat it with uh, copper fungicide. We've got a hose end or a concentrated version, or we've got a dust that you can also use. The dust is good because it's gonna coat the entire leaf and it's gonna stay just a little bit longer than either one of the copper fungicides. Be sure with any product or any chemical that you use, you pay attention to the instructions and apply it only as directed because if you over apply, you will kill out your plant. And under applying will kind of just not do much of anything at all. <laughs> so um, all of our stores are equipped with bonide uh, computers that we can help diagnose any diseases or diagnose insect damage. And we also have microscopes for us to take a look at, at your leaves or your stems when you bring them in. So it's much easier if you bring in a sample of your tree so we can diagnose it. Uh, pictures are nice too, so we can see the size. But all of our locations have this technology and we all have at least a three or four people on staff that can help diagnose pretty much anything at all times. I wanna thank you for tuning into this edition of All Things Green and we'll see you next week.